Go ahead. All right. We're going to do uh, lap one, and we're going to do the bones. We'll start with the clavicle. Clavicle is one that a lot of people have trouble with. And so here we have a left and a right clavicle. And the one on the right side is the right, and the one on the left side is the left. How about that? So here's how you tell. The superior surface of the clavicle is relatively smooth. If I flip it over, you see that it has bumps. If you look at the pictures on WebZT, excuse me, you'll see these bumps. Those are the inferior side. Distal end of the clavicle looks like a field hockey stick. Okay, That's going to articulate with the acromion process of the scapula. And then the proximal end is usually kind of blunt. And that articulates with the manubrium of the sternum. If we put them in position, so now we're looking down on the superior surface of these two clavicles, we see that the proximal end, or the end that goes to the sternum, kind of is anterior, and the distal end that looks like the field hockey stick is posterior. And one more thing that uh, someone pointed out, these sort of have a point. The point points anteriorly. So you can see the little point right there near the end of my finger. So this is the right, this is the left clavicle. Okay. The proximal end is sometimes called the sternal end and the distal end is sometimes called the acromial end, and that's fine. We have a hyoid bone next. The hyoid bone looks a lot like a mandible, and uh, that's not really coincidental. Uh, it looks like a mandible because they have common origins. And so these were actually cartilages that made up gill arches that have fused together anteriorly. And so this would be the anterior side of the mandible, and this would be uh, the uh, hyoid, and this would be the posterior side. And then we even have, looks like it has two little teeth here. Those little tubercles are formed by muscle attachment. We have ribs. And so we'll do, I have a left and a right rib. That's a right rib. This is a left rib. And so you're probably asking yourself, how can you tell? Uh, the feature on the rib that helps you tell left from right is this groove right here. The groove is on the inferior side of the rib. It's called the subcostal groove. There's a neurovascular bundle that runs through it. So a neurovascular bundle means that there are nerves and vessels, and they go in a specific order from superior to inferior. It's going to be V-A-N, vein, artery, nerve. Okay? So they run in the subcostal groove. We have a head of the rib, which articulates with the thoracic vertebrae, the, uh, actually the demifacets of the vertebrae, which we'll talk about when we get to them. We have a tubercle of the rib and that articulates with the transverse costal facet of the vertebra. Now usually tubercles are caused by muscle attachment. This is an unusual one. This is an articulation with another bone. We have the neck where it gets kind of thin here, the head and the body of the rib, and the angle is where it changes direction, and that's the rib. So this is a right rib and a left rib. Here's the subcostal groove. Um, the directions I would give you to help tell left from right, take your finger and thumb, pinch the subcostal groove, that's going to be inferior. This is where the vertebrae are, this is where the sternum is, so this has to be a left. Okay, next we're going to have the scapula. And I've gotten two scapulas here, and a lot of people have trouble with scapulas for some reason. In fact, I've already gotten an email, and we haven't even started class about the scapula. So. Um, this is a left scapula, this is a right scapula, we're looking from the posterior side.